Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to use bracket notation to find the first character in a string. Uh, bracket notation is a way to get character, to get a character at a specific index with a string. Most modern programming languages like JavaScript don't start counting at one like humans do, they start at zero. This is referred to as zero-based indexing. The example, uh, for example, the character at index zero in the word Charles is the capital C. So, ver for, so if we set a variable equal to the first name is equal to Charles, you can get the value of the first letter of the string by using the first name at position zero. Use bracket notation to find the first character of last name variable and assign it to first letter of last name. Hint, try looking at first letter of first name uh, variable declaration if you get stuck. So they only want us to change the code below this line. Um, as you can see, last name has already been established. And so they're doing first letter of last name um, is equal to last name. Um, we want to change this. Try looking at first letter of first name. Okay, so first letter of last name. So here they're defining the variable as an empty string. Well, first off, let's start from the top. Uh, the first letter of the first name. So here they're just defining the variable. And then they're saying the first name is Ada. And now, so they're saying the first letter of the first name is equal to first name at zero. So now we've got the last name. First, they're uh, defining the variable. And then they're um, setting the last name. And then here, they're, we're saying first letter of last name. So in bracket notation, we just go, we just add uh, zero here. Uh, if we run the test, everything should pass. OK, cool. Um, Let's uh, do it something else. Let's say there Ian, or my name is equal to Ian, right? We need to make it a string. So I'm going to make it Ian. Now you can see if we go console.log, we can do my name. And then you can see, you can actually spell out the entire um, notice. OK, so right now we're logging out. The first letter of my name is I. And let's do that for A and Ian for my whole name. Um, now, because it's only three letters, we can go the, my name at, at position one is A, so I, A, and then the position two is N, so I've got I, A, N. Now this works, um, this sort of indexing is super valuable because you can do it with strings and you can also do it with arrays, which we'll probably go into in the future. Um, but yeah, so if we were to make this one uh, useful programmer. You can see now it's going to be use, so it's just U-S-E. You'll notice you can also do negative numbers here. So if, uh, oh, you can't. Oh, maybe that's just in JavaScript or in Ruby. Um, so yeah, uh, you see if you try to do it with an empty array, it um, causes an error. But if we were to put this on four, we would see that it's, uh, let's put it on five, it'll be an L. So yeah, this just sort of shows you that you can use bracket notation to select any character out of a string. And this will become more useful uh, as time goes on. Uh, but for now, that uh, solves that test. So hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next lesson.